Hey everybody, we are back again. This week, 6.5 Creedmoor custom build off of Zermatt Action, and we're mounting the Burris Veracity PH scope on it. We're going to do a little bit of test on these coyotes at longer range. David's doing the shooting, I'm doing the videoing, and you can see right there, it was pretty successful. What we did was went ahead and hit the range. We're going to have information on that, on what David did and proved out everything that we did at the range and what Burris is saying that the scope will do out in the field. And there's David and his sister Chrissy. We were hunting these coyotes. Now look in the field behind through the pivot. You can see the other coyote. This ranch had dozens of coyotes just going around and hunting the ground squirrels. And they would stand off. They would watch us. Some were a little bit too far for shots. Other ones, however, were right in the areas that we like to shoot, that David likes to hit, our farthest shot was 557 yards. So if you haven't already, this is a short clip from our uh, video from SHOT Show. I'm gonna put a link right up at the top here. Go check that out so you see how this optic works and then come back and watch the rest of it. So David's gonna jump in right here and explain the range report. We'll see some coyote hunting and then at the end, he will discuss this build in detail and we'll wrap it all up. Hey, thanks Eric. The first thing that we needed to do was obtain muzzle velocity, as this is obviously one of the critical inputs into the Burris Ballistic Calculator that for the Veracity Optic. We are using our lab radar. Second, now we did test two different loads at the range, one of which was just a standard factory ammo, a Hornady 140 grain ELD match, and we had some reloads using Peterson brass and 143 grain ELDX bullets which we're actually going to be shooting that ammo during the hunt. Both of these loads shot extremely well, and we were able to push out to 400 yards, which was all the range was capable of. I was extremely happy with the accuracy of the rifle and how smooth the Zermatt action performed. Also, the Burris veracity made it very easy to quickly change distances to get our data. Okay, next up is the hunt report. Stick around for the warning. Warning, this video contains images of legal hunting activities. If you are offended by these types of images, please leave now. All right, you can hear the wind. It was pretty windy that day. And this coyote came in from quite a ways out. And she's just working her way across this field. So one thing that was nice is the veracity pH. I was constantly able to adjust the yardage didn't have to look at clicks or mills. I'm just watching the yardage dial. Now, you see ground squirrels running around, but she really wasn't interested. She even walks right by this hawk and doesn't even seem to care. So she finally got in to 327 yards, got my last dial on her, and she came in to mark her territory. Think neck and something. Got him. Good shot. That's David. There, you see, the ELDX absolutely did its job. Hey guys, it's David with Armator. Hey, we had an opportunity to get out here and do some coyote hunting in northern Nevada. And came out onto a field, um, saw a coyote. He was out quite a ways, 800 plus, hoping he would work his way back into us, but it didn't really materialize. So we were about to pack up and move out and saw a coyote coming in from the west, got on him, got set up. I was laying prone on the side of a uh, pivot and coyotes working his way toward us. So. Today for shooting, I'm shooting my custom 6.5 Creed, which is built on a uh, Zermatt action. Fantastic action. Krieger barrel, one and eight twist, shooting Hornady 143 grain ELDXs, uh, Masterpiece Arms uh, BA hybrid chassis, Thunder Beast Ultra 9. And on top, we are actually using the Veracity PH by Verus. Now, this optic, as this coyote's working in, you know, it has a heads up display that is built inside the optic. So as you run your elevation turret, you can either adjust it to distance or MOA. In my case, I have it set up for distance. So 
as he's coming across the field, I'm hitting it with a rangefinder and then making an adjustment as I'm looking through the optic to get to the proper yardage. He was out at, I can't remember exactly, Eric, you remember? Three something. Yeah, three something, 330, 327, something like that. So I just kept dialing down because he started coming into us from about 600 yards. So I'm constantly running it. I'm just letting him work his way toward us till I felt it was a good shot. He was probably not going to get much closer based on our position. And one shot, the Hornady 143s did their job, dropped her in one shot. So, um, yeah, it was, it was a good hunt. We got a lot more that we're going to continue working out here, hitting some more fields and seeing what we can do for you. So yes. All right. This second coyote was out quite a bit further and unlike the first one you you see all the ground squirrels here she, this coyote was absolutely hunting and again i'm constantly hitting my yardage dialing it right here she actually takes off to try to grab something i thought she was out of there rearrange him or you know got him spin and drop Come on, drop. Hit him again. Hit him again. Quick. Oh, he's fallen. You got him through the chest. It just poked a hole in his heart. Good shot, man. What's the range on that? That's with the Burris. Veracity pH. Dead. All right. Number two on the day. Let's see the size of that guy. <laughs> Hold him out. It's a big coyote. Where was the shot? Right here. How far? Um, 557, 558, something like that. So how'd that Burris do as far as dialing him in through the heads-up display? It's really nice. Once I you mean, had the range? What's that? Once you had the range? Yeah, once you hit the range, you know the range. I mean, then it's just a matter of turning it right to it. Cool. It's easy. As you can see there, YouTube's not allowing real rifles, so we had to cartoonize it. Okay, I'm just kidding. Here's David to drop in with some information. Hey, this is David again. I wanted to take a few moments and talk about the build and the components that we used in this rifle. So the heart of this rifle is the Zermatt Arms TL3 Action. The chassis we used is a Masterpiece Arms BA Hybrid chassis. The barrel is a Krieger, which make absolutely make fantastic barrels. This one happens to be a 1 and 8 twist with an MTU contour and a finish length of 25 inches. The trigger is a Bixen Andy Dakota. These are outstanding triggers, and if you haven't seen them before, be sure to check them out over at bulletcentral.com. Of course, we have the Accutac bipod. Um, we use several different models of these, so be sure to check them out. Last, we have the Thunder Beast Arms Ultra 9. Uh, this is a fantastic can, um, very good no, it's a sound suppression, and they make a lot of others. I uh, really like their Dominus as well, so be sure to check them out. Now, the optic shown in the on this rifle is obviously not the Burris Veracity. That was switched out after the hunt, as we wanted to bring you additional content on the optic and use it on different rifles. In case you're wondering, the optic shown on here is the Vortex Strike Eagle 3 to 18 by 44. Now want to take a couple seconds and give you some of the features that you get in the Zermatt Arms TL3 action. So I personally really like the oversized bolt knob. It has a floating bolt head. It offers control round feed and it has an enclosed mechanical ejector. So again, this action is fantastic. And so be sure to check them out. Now, overall, this rifle performed flawlessly. I mean, you saw the hits we were making. Um, 
It held very tight groups at the range. I'll have to put up some specs once I get back. I do want to spend some time and tailor a load specifically for this rifle, which I didn't have time to do before, but I'd say the worst group we got was half inch, you know, 0.4 inches, something like that. So I really appreciate you stopping by and hanging with us today. Be sure to check out all of our other articles and content that we create over at varmeter.com. Thanks.